the emperor. Guess what comes to you? What you want. What you want. An emperor to your empress, the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups. That's what's coming to you. Soulmate journey. Foundation, security, future. Emotional fulfillment. Beyond, beyond emotional fulfillment. Pisces, you have the emperor, the empress, the ten of pentacles, and the ten of cups sitting here. The emperor, the empress, the ten of pentacles, and the ten of cups. I mean, my God. That's what comes to you when you once and for all decide to put the past to the past. And now you are being righteously, righteously rewarded by the universe for your spiritual growth. Hey, Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Finally, sorry, you guys, sorry. Well, I'm not really sorry because it's all in divine timing, right? I've felt something going about Pisces and I just had to wrap my feelings around it, right? So I'm going to do a reading for Pisces. This is a general reading, absolutely general reading for the collective of Pisces, okay? Isn't this cool? I'm going to flip all these cards like this. I just love, love, love to make sure these cards are completely and totally mixed up. I do. I love the surprise, right? I just think they all deserve a chance to get situated in the way they need to be. So we're going to do it all sloppy like that, and we're going to pull it all together. And we're going to see what Spirit has to say for you. However, this isn't your reading right? This is just a general reading. If this resonates with you, I highly recommend that you get your cards read. You can watch YouTube Tarot till the cows come home, but you're never going to find the answers that you need until you have your own cards read. And that's a promise. All right, it's going to work like it always works, okay? I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'll talk about it as I'm clarifying it. I'll sew together a story and I'll go back to the top and read it as a whole. All right, let's do this. Ready? Let's do this. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Pisces with me. And we want to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Pisces? And what does Pisces need to know about themselves? Spirit, what does Pisces need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, I'm going to shuffle a few more times. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Pisces the information that they need to know and understand. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say in these cards. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to cut. Where's the spot? Where's a spot? Where's the spot? Where's Alright, that's a sweet spot right there. Bottom of this deck is the tower. Let's cut three times. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of our deck is the Eight of Swords in reverse, right? This is a new perspective. Alright, first card out the box is the Six of Cups. Family, home, nostalgia, Memories, reconciling differences, your past, your childhood, 
your children. Six of Swords, regretful but necessary transition of some sort. To the Four of Pentacles, control, stability, taking control, a lack mentality sometimes for me. The Ace of Cups in reverse, wounded feelings, hurt feelings, repressed feelings, repressed emotions. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. Justice in reverse and injustice, dishonesty, unfairness. The Two of Pentacles, prioritization, um, equilibrium in the realm of like security. Princess of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. Emotional immaturity, a creative block. The Seven of Cups in reverse, fantasy, illusion, um, delusion. The Five of Wands, conflict. The Two of Wands in reverse, fear of what's going to happen, fear of the future. The Nine of Cups in reverse, uh, emotional dissatisfaction. The Nine of Swords in reverse, painful lesson, an immense amount of distress. But sometimes it's coming out of that too. The Princess of Pentacles manifesting in strength. Woo, to the Fool. Beautiful and the Princess of Wands. Nice. Wow. And death right on. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Wands. The Moon in reverse. Judgment. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords. The Hermit in reverse. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Eight of Cups right on to the Emperor. And the Ten of Pentacles. Ha! And the Ten of Cups. No freaking way. Let's see. Ten of Wands in reverse. Prince of Wands in reverse. The Empress. We're definitely got to take those to the Three of Wands. Oh, what are these? Six of Wands in reverse. And the King of Swords. All right. Then it starts repeating. Okay. It's a little bit of repeating right here, but it's still the details are entertaining. All right, you guys. Let's do this. I already shuffled the hell out of my clarifying cards, okay? All right, let's do this. A few things you should know about me. I am probably going to swear. If that offends you, then you should just go home right now, okay? If I haven't sworn already, I'm probably going to swear. Curse, okay? Um, what else? I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. If you don't like it, there's the door. Otherwise, hang out. Put your feet up. Get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Kick back, put your earbuds in, put your TV on, however you do it. And let's dive into this real good here. This is a beautiful reading. I know a lot of people say reversals, reversals. Look at that, the Nine of Pentacles. Reversals, reversals. But um, um, you're only using half the tarot if you don't read the reversals. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. I know some decks have special instructions that say you only read them up, right? And I totally respect that. But like regular old tarot cards, you have to read them in reverse or you're missing half of the psychological, the forensics of it all, right? All right, Pisces, this is what's shaking down right here, okay? Okay, okay. This is, this is, I thought this was getting out of somewhere, but it's not. It's about a rite of passage. That's what that card's about. And that's the key to the whole reading. Okay, so first card out. Okay, so we have the Six of Cups, which could have been family, home, nostalgia, memories, reuniting, reconciling your past all the way around, right? In this case, this Six of Cups represents your past, like your past past. From this point forward, everything in the back is your past. And what you're doing with your past, whatever that means for you, whether it's love and romance, whether it is jobs, careers, monies, relationships, whatever your thing is, your past does not define you anymore. And you are taking control with the Nine of Pentacles of the past. 
and you are saying it is complete, it is done, I am secure enough in myself with the Nine of Pentacles, right, that I don't need to identify myself today with who or what is in my past. That's what you're saying right out the box, okay? Ten of Swords in reverse. Renewal, regeneration, maybe reconciling or reuniting with someone from your past. Renewal or regeneration. This is, this is you, actually, in the Ten of Swords in reverse, saying that you are renewed. You have conquered whatever the pain of the past is in this Six of Cups. You have conquered that pain. You've conquered it. Done deal. Renewal, regeneration, the Ten of Cups. Now you are prepared for emotional fulfillment. You know, I do readings all the time for people and they're like, when is love coming for me? When is my life going to be harmonious and unified, right? And it always, always boils down to you having to dig up whatever your issues are in the cards and understanding that they're the blockages that are keeping you from getting what it is that you want, no matter what it is. It all starts in the mind, manifestation, right? So these cards are saying that when it comes to your past and dealing with your past, Ten of Swords in reverse, you've, you've dealt with it, okay? to the Ten of Cups and now you're ready. You're ready to get the happiness that you truly long for in your life, the emotional fulfillment, whatever that is for you, to the Eight of Pentacles because you've done the work, you've invested, you have gained knowledge and wisdom and you have worked literally with the Eight of Pentacles your shit out. And if you haven't, you need to, for real counselors, a tarot card reading, your personal tarot card reading, whatever you got to dig up, Google, right? You can do a lot of self-therapy on the internet, right? But you've done work. Six of Swords, this is a rite of passage. This card is about you exiting the roughness and moving in to calmer waters. This is the fuck it, get in the boat, let's go card. For real, it is. It's like, let's go. Because you are leaving your past behind and because of that, it is a rite of passage. To the two of wands, because you're looking down the road at your future. You're looking at life ahead of where you are right now. You're having some foresight. To the tower in reverse. And you're having a personal transformation. You are not going to be, you're not going to let your past look stuck in the past. You are not going to let your past define who you are or what it is you're going to achieve in your life. For real. A personal transformation. And you're averting the disaster. The disaster of what? Staying stuck in who you used to be and giving your past way too much control over your present and letting it control your future too. There is a quote that I put out on YouTube the other day. It's from Carl Jung and it says, until the subconscious becomes conscious, the events will unfold and you will call it destiny. I maybe slaughtered that a little bit, but it's true. Until the subconscious becomes the conscious, you just call it fate. Wow. Six of Swords in reverse, right? Stuck in the past. To the Four of Pentacles. And this is a little bit about being stuck with good enough. Good enough. Just enough. Good enough. It's also about taking control of the situation. Taking control of the situation. To the Ace of Cups in reverse. All of the repressed emotions. All of the broken emotions. To the Ten of Cups in reverse, all of the drained emotions, lost emotions. But Tens are always about something new coming right after it, right? So this is about healing. 
It's about healing. It's about healing to the King of Cups and getting into a place of emotional control and emotional stability. To the Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess, again, standing in your own power, understanding that this past relationship doesn't define you. Your past, your childhood. Let me tell you something. Everything that has ever happened to you in your life, good, bad, and indifferent, has created you to be exactly who you are sitting right here at this moment to be. What you do with it depends upon your ability to grasp enlightenment and spiritual growth. And through enlightenment and spiritual growth, you learn to deal with the shit that you can't change. The things that have made you who you are. And the purpose of life is to help others through the journey. And you can either use the devastation and the bliss that has happened to you in your life to help other people along the journey through whatever means, whatever means. Or you can choose to let it chew you up and destroy you. And you have chosen to leave the past behind. Whatever that pain is, you have chosen to leave it behind. The Nine of Pentacles standing in your power. The High Priestess, you, Pisces. You. Right there in the High Priestess. Knowing that you know that you know that your destiny lies someplace else. The Three of Pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration. The Three of Pentacles. Clarified, rooted in the King of Wands to the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse is salty. Salty to the Prince of Wands. I knew it. Okay, so the past is the past is the past, right? So, Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, right? Clarified by the teamwork and collaboration, clarified by the King of Wands to the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Prince of Wands, inspired action. So, this is a message that I think somebody is bringing into you possibly from your past, okay? Wanting to achieve some kind of success with the King of Wands. Wanting teamwork and collaboration with the Three of Pentacles, right? Now I'm ready to see your value, or maybe this is someone who needs something from you. But nevertheless, this is about a message, salty, inspiration but it's fiery energy teamwork and collaboration perhaps someone wants to work with you um perhaps whatever this is the queen of swords in reverse is like not only no but hell no because she's still salty from the last go around yeah look the four of swords right mentally restless tell me more Look, the Queen of Swords in the upright to the Queen of Cups. That's more blockage. It's more defensiveness, right? You're guarding your feelings because your feelings were hurt in this situation before. Your feelings were hurt in this situation before and you're guarding yourself. You are super salty with this person who's bringing you a message of teamwork and collaboration. That's what that boils down to. Justice in reverse, because there was an injustice between you. There was. There was an injustice between you. Something, something, something. But death comes in and talks about a transformation. Look at that to the Two of Pentacles. A transformation that balances everything out. Is this your transformation? 
is spirit telling you with justice in reverse major arcana telling you that this over here is an injustice you need to bring an end to it and keep trucking like you're trucking right here looking towards your future right leaving the past behind is this spirit saying it's an injustice to engage it's an injustice to your success to engage with this stay on your own to the high priestess right you know even if somebody's coming in in the king of cups or is this saying there's a transformation to the injustice that happened between you that made you the queen of swords in reverse and it's being balanced out to the sun and bringing happiness and success and vitality two of pentacles balance knight of wands knight of wands inspired action balance wow to the nine of cups Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know what's happening right here? Wow. Hold on. Strength. All right. This is going to go one of two ways, okay? Because it's a general reading and I have no idea what i'm even channeling here okay i have no idea what any of this is if this was your reading i could assign all of this to exactly what's happening in your life but because it's not i can't and it's difficult for me as a psychic okay it just blows my mind because i don't know who i'm i don't know okay so justice in reverse all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Leaving the past behind, right? Protecting yourself, guarding yourself, guarding yourself. The queen of swords in reverse, salty. Um, the king of wands, this is somebody knocking on your door, right? Wanting with, with the prince of wands, right? Giving messages and you're like blocked. Perhaps it's like totally like for real blocked. And there's, there's, they want some kind of teamwork and collaboration, right? Um, but you're not having any of it because you're leaving the past behind. Injustice. Is this an injustice that is being corrected with the death card and a transformation is going to happen that's going to bring balance with the two of pentacles and happiness, success, and vitality with the sun? Well, for some of y'all, is this it is it an injustice for you to engage in this where you're guarding your whatever this is you're guarding yourself from is it an injustice for you to engage in it and you need to have a transformation and bring an end to it to the two of pentacles to gain some balance and reach your success your vitality and your happiness in and of your own as you walk away from the six of cups okay two of pentacles balance prioritization balance and prioritization knight of wands inspired action of some sort to the nine of cups puts you in a place of emotional fulfillment to the strength card and it strengthens your position it strengthens your situation it strengthens your life somehow some way princess of cups in reverse talks about a creative block a creative block to the high priestess inside of yourself inside of pisces trying to figure out whether this is the injustice to your life or the injustice is being corrected that's what's happening right there okay all right so in your in your piscesness right wondering about the two of um yeah the four though no, with the princess of cups in reverse wonder about the princess of cups in reverse high priestess right sorting through this is a creative block this is something that is maybe keeping you from moving forward is your intuition is your is your is your piscesness right keeping you from moving forward to the page of wands 
because you are doing all good by yourself over here, right? But then there's a message that's coming in with the Page of Wands, and it leaves you in a state of utter confusion with the Seven of Cups in reverse and conflict with the Five of Wands. Utter confusion and conflict. Queen of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings. Queen of Cups in the upright, but I Ace of Cups in the upright, but you have feelings in this situation. But your feelings were hurt and you're in the middle of an emotional rebirth over here with the six of cups, right? The past, right? An emotional rebirth. And this brings up nothing but old emotions to the six of pentacles in reverse. One-sided, right? It was one-sided back when you might have cared about this situation, but not anymore. The past is the past. And you don't see with the Six of Pentacles in reverse a way to incorporate this whole thing into your goals and your ambitions and your desires as you move forward and reach a pinnacle of beautiful success in your life. <sighs> to the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse is fear of the unknown, right? What's, what's the fear of the unknown? Well, it's this pocket of cards right here. Is this injustice between the two of you being corrected with a transformation? Does it bring stabilization to the situation? Does it bring happiness, success, and vitality? Or is it an injustice to my growth, to the death card? Should I bring it to an end, to the two of pentacles, to gain my footing to the sun card? and obtain and walk into happiness, success, and vitality in and of my own right. And therein lies the rub. And that's why you are pinched between a creative block and creation, a creative block in the emotions. This person bringing you all kinds of fire energy. We have the Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Messages of inspiration up against the creative block of you and the high priestess. Heart of hearts, soul of souls. What do I do? Confusion. Utter confusion. To the five of wands and con conflict. Why? Well, queen of cups in reverse because your feelings got hurt last time around. Ace of Cups, and you're in the middle of a brand new cycle of your life. Six of Pentacles in reverse. No, thank you. To the Two of Wands in reverse. Not taking it into my future. Not taking what into my future? Temperance in reverse. An imbalance. The, I'm not going to undo the healing that I've already done in my life. This could be a, a relative, a daughter, a child, a mother, a son, a father, a friend, an employer. This could be anything, but somebody's coming back from your past. And they're wanting to collaborate somehow, some way with you. And the question is, is it an, is it a justice? Is it, a, is it a transformation of the injustice between the two of you? Or is it an injustice to your best interest? Therein lies the rub. That's why this is a general reading. Confusion, conflict, thanks, but no thanks. It's, it's one-sided. To the two of wands in reverse, don't want to take it into the future, the imbalance. The Nine of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction from a very painful lesson. To the Princess of Pentacles, manifestation, the Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunities, strengthened to do it to the full. Brand new beginning and a brand new journey. Brand new beginning and a brand new journey. To the Princess of Wands, enthusiasm, excitement, death, a transformation of your life. Why? 
Well, because if you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always gotten. To the three of cups in reverse, stifled creativity. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're always going to get what you've always gotten. And it is, it is stifling your ability to create. The three of cups in the upright is about friendship and community and getting together and enjoying people and, and, and life and new experiences. It's about joy. If you keep doing what you've always done, you're going to keep stifling your own creativity. And up here, you draw a line in the sand. And if you haven't, you need to. That the past is the past. And you are reinvented in the high priestess twice. New breath of fresh air with the page of wands. Enthusiasm, excitement, free spirit. Ready to step into it. And you're down here and you're going, man, this was a painful lesson. It hurt. I was hurt from all of this in the past. No way. I'm going to be strong. I'm going to manifest my own way. New beginning in a new journey, a quantum leap with the fool to the princess of wands. Enthusiasm, excitement, a breath of fresh air, death, a transformation. Because if I keep doing what I've always done, I'm always going to get what I've always gotten. I'm going to keep stifling my creativity. <coughs> Two, the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, swift change in your life when you release the past and stop living there. The Moon in reverse. Releasing fear. Dealing with repressed emotions. To judgment and making a hardcore decision. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. To turn it down. To turn down the grief, the sorrow, and the heartbreak from the past. To the hermit in reverse. Withdrawing your energy. Six of pentacles in reverse. I don't want to share my future with you. Eight of cups. I'm out. Like a boy scout. I'm bouncing. See ya. To the emperor. Here, let's put this new stack over here. So the Emperor, to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Ten of Cups, those to the Empress. Okay, so what's happening? What's happening is now that you have fully and completely been confronted with your past one last time and your free will did will decide your free will will your free will will decide if you use this as a stepping stone or a stumbling block your free will will decide if this keeps you distracted and stagnated or if you break free from your past and move into happiness, success, and vitality in your life. Because you've put the work in. It's a rite of passage. It's time to go. The Emperor. Guess what comes to you? What you want. What you want. An emperor to your empress, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. That's what's coming to you. Soulmate journey. Foundation, security, future. Emotional fulfillment. Beyond, beyond emotional fulfillment. And then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, the burden and the struggle that you've carried to the Prince of Wands in reverse, the frustrations and the delays because it was, the Empress was the last card, right? It was like this, over, over. Pisces, you have the Emperor, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups sitting here. The Emperor, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. I mean, my God, 
That's what comes to you when you once and for all decide to put the past to the past. The Three of Wands. Prepare. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Prepare. To the Six of Wands. In the reverse, it says the kind of the same thing. It's a lack of success, lack of reward, right? To the King of Swords, which is um, your decision, right? Logic, reasoning, responsibility, because you drew the boundary and left the past in the past. You did not engage in this, and now you've cut those ties with the King of Swords, and it's time to move forward. See, but we can put the Six of Wands in the upright too. And what does it say? Victory and progress and success. Prepare for it to the King of Swords because you created this in your life. You created with your strength, your ability to let go of the past, to do the inner work that needed to be done. And now you are being righteously, righteously rewarded by the universe for your spiritual growth. Wow, Pisces. That was a pretty deep reading. Wow. That was pretty freaking awesome. I like that. I like that. You're going to be confronted with this, though. You are. And it's up to you whether you step on it or over it. Whether you trip over it or step on it, I guess I should say, right? Whether you trip over it or step on it, it's up to you. It's up to you. If you need to relive some painful lesson from the past and, you know, go through it one more time, then the opportunity is going to present itself for sure. <laughs> but if you don't want to fuck with all that bullshit anymore, cut it off. King of Swords it. Because that's what's in your best interest. Hope this helps someone. Namaste. Oh, um, the gypsy psychic.com if you want your own cards read. Okay. Peace.